forecast okay, cloudy, um, little bits of blue sky. That's a nice stroke away between the cover and extra cover. That's going to go all the way, I think. It really was very nicely timed. Used to the indignity of making a bad start and looking to put uh, things right. That's another good shot. Away through mid-wicket. That's another nice stroke. Again, finding that gap in the five-player offside infield. That's a nice stroke. Just a little bit over-pitched. A little bit too short. Sat up and pulled away to the straight mid-wicket boundary. Not perfectly timed, but good enough. Got enough bat on that. Yeah, that's a good shot. That really was well timed. Again, just compensating by slightly over pitching and again pretty well timed. Oh, it's in that's uppish. It could be a catch here. And that's I think it's been held, and that's a very good one indeed. And that could be the mistake we're talking about. And it's well held in the end. This uh, this fight back. Oh, that's a, a good hit. And uh, that is very well connected and uh, brings us um, a six, which is just what the Vipers would have wanted. And that's well placed. That really was well placed. And uh, a couple of good uh, strokes here. It tweaked its format, doesn't it? Uh, uh, every year. That's nice placement. Kopak is back and that's actually a pretty good little scoop shot that because the uh, short third over the fielder's head. That's a pretty fine strike out towards uh, long off. That's one of the best shots of the day. And nice piece of placement and now we're seeing the Vipers having a little bit more success in attacking uh, but that is a very fine piece of placement and timing and she's just bided her time Elvis where she got slightly stuck mid innings couldn't find the boundaries and now she has her 50 But that's good placement. That's good placement because she just waited for that and knew that there was a big gap. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate for Shrivens that because uh, it's gone through and gone all the way for for four. It was very much in aggressive mode now. And that's another very good piece of placement. Well, that's well hit and just clearing long on. Well executed that slower ball, but actually spotted and moving one on the offside. Ooh, now how's that going to be judged by the umpire? Switching of the field. But to no avail, this is a good last over here from the Vipers. A difficult over. But that's a, a fine way to finish. Oh, goodness me. All the way into the black side screen at the far end. That's a pretty good catch. That really is because it looked like it might just elude up. And the visitors. Oh, it's a beautiful piece of bowling. Bit of turn. And in the end, uh, Griffith playing down the wrong line. That's better. That's a good shot. That'll be four, no problem at all. Good shot. Just finding that gap in the offside infield. Tantalizingly away from the fielder. It's a 
nice shot. Some good strokes starting to be played now. That is uh, just going to go over the rope. That asking rate doesn't go too much further than the nine it is. That's pretty well placed, actually, and a nice little late adjustment. That's very useful indeed from the Sunrisers' point of view. Smith, who has so, been bowling so well, it's in the flatter one. And these flatter ones aren't particularly working for her. Another four. Very, very good bit of placement. That's very useful and much needed. Lovely piece of uh, work. And uh, the pressure telling in the end. Significant moment in the evening's proceedings. It's a pretty good hit. Good enough to go to the uh, straight long arm boundary for four. That's a very, very desperately needed boundary, but they're going to have to be a few more of those short of the end of the 15th over. That one's uh, found its way through. That's a good shot, mind you. That's a bit of encouragement. It's been a long time coming. Well, that's a bit of a bonus. We've not seen many poor deliveries in the entire innings. A viable proposition. Another good slower ball. She was obviously attempting that with the full toss that went wrong. But she's uh, executed it a bit better since. There's the 50 for Gardner. Oh, what a strange delivery that was. But it could be a catch to long on. And uh, a bit of a half tracker results in the wicket. Well, she's given it some good leverage, but it's going to be a second catch in as many balls. It's a good shot. It's finding a range now. It's Gardner. 15 balls to go. But she's giving it a go. Can't say fairer than that. Good use of the feet. Backed away. To be fair to Gardner, she really has uh, played impressively. Striking the ball well, Gardner. That expensive last over, of course. But uh, this, in the end, is a story of um, an unbroken third wicket partnership of 110, which has been followed by a very disciplined bowling performance 171 for two the vipers 152 for five the sunrisers the difference 19 runs